nothing. Um, I don't know how many people went into Dent today, but I picked up something from the church notice boards and the uh, uh, and the various community bulletins and whatever. Some of them I thought were, were amusing. They should be familiar to me. Uh, one notice said that the, the fasting and prayer conference includes meals. <laughs> <laughs> and it said that the sermon last week, he said, this morning the sermon is Jesus walks on the water. The sermon in the evening was searching for Jesus. <laughs> I don't know. 
to return for us all to prosperity. Not easy in these times of cuts and austerity. They worked by the light of a candle, a faint and eerie glow. They had no choice. The power was off to keep the cost down low. <laughs> the cold was cruel enough to, to test the hardiest brass monkeys. But turn the heat on, they dare not, for fear of Asia Hollands. Sad to say that though they worked deep into the night, compared to their joint IQ, the candle wasn't as bright. <laughs> for God's sake, Keith, said David, no more savings can I see. I've cut staff as much as I can, and I'm left with just me. Well, you'll just have to go, said Keith. We can't afford a boss. It's the only way that I can see to eliminate the loss. Be that, it is ma be that as it may, said David, you snivelling little git. <laughs> HF want this report as to why we're in... <laughs> 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 it's not difficult, said Keith, if you use your wit. Just copy the government and lie and cheat and fudge it. <laughs> <laughs> on and on they work growing increasingly more tired until David heard a haunting sound coming from outside. Then through the door there came, with now a shadow cast, a procession of ghostly spectral figures, the ghosts of Christmas past. She's dead. <laughs> First through the door was Clive. Where's Clive? First through the door was Clive, looking forlorn and all alone. No surprise he got no friends. He was playing his <laughs> Between between Blast on his horn, name that tune, he cried. But no one got a single one, no matter how they tried. Then from outside came such music as they never heard. It was indeed an awful sound, enough to make them scared. Through the door burst a bearded man, complete with kangaroo. Oh no, said Keith, it's Royal Palace, what does Vigilie do? <laughs> Next through the door came a trio, making such a noise. It was Kevin, Joyce and Lindsay, murdering two little boys. <laughs> it was clear that few of the words did they know, but they cared not, as they were giving it a go. Then appeared a happy, smiling chap. Roy was his name. Entertainment time, he chuckled. Carpet bowls is the game. Keith was afraid to refuse and thought he should behave. He even thought he could win till at the door he saw his nemesis. <laughs> <laughs> at this Keith could stand no more and began to scream and scream only to be shaken by David saying, wake up, you're having a dream. <laughs> a dream, said Keith and looked around, his face a deathly hue. <laughs> you mean, thank God it was just a dream and not that it was true. Yeah. <laughs>